This meant that the use of chalk and its associated health risks to both students and teachers were eliminated, thereby making our education delivery environmentally sustainable, as enshrined in the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals 3, 4, 8, and 11, as well as the tenets of the UN Climate Change Conferences of COPs 21 and 27. In furtherance of our digitalization agenda in the education sector, government is proceeding with plans to distribute 1.3 million educational tablets to students in senior high schools. Ebusia, who pesa ukrani eme free brochure ede bagana na eni efe huwa sambe dom A and S. U twenty ana forty footer container no. Ana e ye left hand drive cars ena u pesa u tono amanone. Enfa hu be be free bia. UK, Europe, USA, China, ana Asia. Se u de bagana be bia ye de be brel. Ebi namposo eni we mushe muntino. Eba na intem dia u ni hau kra. Yen door to door delivery ninso di. Na u tree bia ye ukrani eme free UK eni Europe between three to four weeks. Na lande yambo ni sodi boko sawo eba custom unshi shi yenswa yeti mima wa kwantre na ebi ana wodi upaso kakrebi na wopen ten ten tem dia ya di three to four days ni ya di bro shi shi A and S fuetra kwaine uo Europa uti mi freya Germany lineo ewo plus four nine one seven three seven seven one two seven three three Ghana zero two four nine one seven zero four two three na UK so plus four four seven nine zero eight zero two seven five two seven ANS Trading Agency Limited yet demo foi I was saying I have a PMO a war a year Accra International Conference Center na on one penny Ghana man penny His Excellency Nana Adodanko Kufuado on it nabidi a tree his Excellency Dr. Alaji Mahmoud Baumia and any day won't say a year Ghana Smart School Project. A woman, a pahon, and to my ewa, my gun, and muha. And a saying, Ghana Smart School Project, you know, any nan, and say, Kind one, not your co school, no, I am near the school bag, boy, a cheap, na bag, ni muno, and ran up cost and rice preparatory school, or share me books to pay a woman bag, moa, a chain, send me could be a library or school, maybe a natchez and a boa chacha, a rear cry, senior, my cheap, me, and to know, send me the two my pump, na maswa, when you know, or say, Niamu be ebe mana a ten of the past, and two him kada, a tissue where, where you know, a school for. Omu nina aji ati na yeno omu teho. Na inse se nka buku mu. Omu beke nka ibe chro chro nina din nina. Buku ni nina ano. Omu etabri ni nina aye na software. Edi ye gu tableti yiswa. Se se yinu sa eni ye beko. E enuwe chinsu no. Uyi tableti ni fiwa. Yebe ma a teacher fwo ni ade. E laptops ni ade. Na ofye edan yisi weya. We ni smart school no edan yeno. E ne faru ba yene ne structure ne senia. Omu besi no. E ne senia. Na huwa fe ebe ti eni yinti no. Unse kankono esi wa. Kankono, eka e dain, a ye be sino, a smart school no, e bi eno. Smart school no, nyame aya adon mama, en kran ha, omu be si bi, e wa ama asama yinti no. E wo on kran na se, upe zo kobi ya, e ube nye bi ako. Na menka yo se, ENS Trading Agency ena so ya sene ya, bidu ye, ya de ebe tuwe ni mna. ENS Trading Agency se mua mwo yuke mwo, iwi asa fane yinina hape se, odo hon e se, e ye, door to door business mwo. Mbomo di ane from, na omu se tu wap. Sanso, ena se uwo program bi yo agana na hape se, uyu su abrochi ni yoma na hodi ya ye dv and I drink so so seven year British and one in an off from one. Send you a more ton or UK, any German in Sapa Pepe and Albania to her. Courier services, so dear, they are the best from one among so two. Nabusia, a dia, ye be seen the same, and a betsy, say any mu a betsy. 
Sansu and abexpress.com seven kai se bo modia na Ghana and Tuma Ghana and Tade Ghana Kente Ghana eh ahwenie ni nyina no opese uluki the true african dia bo modia na e log on to abexpress.com na eto ne ma nyina ho Sansu and as opese obin dress so na utimi ko program bi say where then i your program bi abaso ko ye dress so mount suit occasion abo modia ne fre afric men's kuto ana afric eh clothing omo pam man me man ta de eh for all event sanso eh na eh 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 salis gm limited say mo am wo uk am pe kwa mr no vehicle 20 ni kwa plus atod mo modia no from no mo ship eh mfa mo by post abusuya medina na se fine bobo ni me yankwe na oman pani na na don kwa kufu ado eh ni his excellency dr laji ba unu ba mi a eh wa ha eh kwa yo be fast watch laptop no kwa yo be fast watch tablet ni nyina no wa kruchi a wo de beto ni mtabusuya a dying way now, who are a channel who channel honey a dying one, or more busy, no school, no one more con woman. The digital will be see school dino, na tablet, no so much char, ama, as a school room. A yah, I say, we need a co bookless and a paperless bookless system. I was a young queen, a young co senior, and no more because I had gone and you see with me dinner, and I found room where so sending did can was subscribing, was shared, dear mommy. This nation, your nation. My nation, our nation Ghana's educational journey has come a long way from the circles of colonial rule, where schools were a privilege, not a right, reserved only for the children of the elite, while the masses stumbled in ignorance. To then when the flames of independence were lit and were death a burning desire to learn and to break the chains of ignorance that had bound us for far too long. Then public schools sprouted across the land, opening the doors of knowledge bit by bit. Yet the path was still lined with hurdles, crumbling infrastructure, lacking resources, overcrowded classrooms, ill-equipped libraries. Policies emerged to bridge the gap, expanding facilities, training more teachers, but financial barriers remained a challenge, excluding their intelligent minds trapped in poverty's grip. Until the day a revolution dawned, the free SHS policy. A dream realized, dismantling the financial hurdles, making education a right, not just a privilege. For the first time, I, Edmond Kweku Asumi, could dream. For the first time, I, Abdulaziz Khadija, could finally dream. For the first time, we, the students of Ghana, could dream for the very first time. As far for height, our parents could not fathom. To become engineers, professors, doctors, to become fashion designers, teachers, innovators. Uplifting ourselves, our families, and our nation. Yet, even as we bask in this monumental stride, the world continues to accelerate ahead, leaving us grasping for a new digital future where knowledge is boundless, accessible, and engaging. So today, I ask you, you, and you, to dream with us. What if every student's journey was transformed? If the tools to conquer this digital age were quite literally at our fingertips? Imagine. <laughs> what if? What if, what if tablets became our portable libraries, loaded with a universe worth of knowledge, constantly updated, nurturing curious minds to explore, question, and innovate without limits? What if, what if, what if classrooms transcended the four walls, reaching across towns, cities, and nations to learn from the experts, no matter the distance, Erasing boundaries, uniting our people. What if? What if we had unlimited access to exam practice tools, from past questions to learning tools, and many, many more? No student, and I mean no student, not even a single student would be left behind. We will be armed with all the tools we need to strive and excel without failure. What if all this wasn't just Another what if. Yes, but the launch of a bold new reality for the students of Ghana to finally solve 
unshackling our minds to reach limitless heights. What if the President of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado, called mount the stage to offer us yet another innovative solution to make this what if a reality? What if? What if, Mr. President, you could kindly mount the stage to outdoor and unveil the new era of education? Eminent clergy, Christian and Muslim, the Vice President, the MPP presidential candidate for the 2024 election, Minister for Education and Member of Parliament for Bosumtri, the Minister for Chieftaincy and Religious Affairs, Deputy Minister for Education and Member of Parliament for Asin South. Ministers and Deputy Ministers designate Members of Parliament. Director General of the Ghana Education Service. The Head of the Local Government Service. President of the Conference of Heads of Assisted Secondary Schools, CHAS. Leadership of Teacher Unions. Esteemed traditional rulers from Mamfe, Equiapim and Osu members of the diplomatic corps, students, fellow Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen. On 27th February 2024, whilst delivering the message on the state of the nation to parliament, I intimated that government had began the rollout of the one tablet per student policy at all senior high schools. It is intended to be a great tool to help bridge the gap between disadvantaged and privileged students. Today, I have the singular honor of launching officially yet another intervention to, to add further impetus to what I've already described as a transformative policy that has broken myths and liberated minds, the free senior high school program. Ladies and gentlemen, education is not merely a right, a privilege. We now know that it is a fundamental right whose enforcement empowers individuals, transforms societies, and propels nations towards progress and development. As we gather here today, let us reflect on the crucial role that education plays in shaping the destiny of our nation. Indeed, education is at the center of poverty eradication. It therefore explains why, against all odds, I went ahead to propose and subsequently implemented the Free Senior High School Program, popularly known as Free SHS in September 2017, six, nine months after I took office. From the initial annual enrollment of 422,940 in 2017, some 503,000 children 
enter senior high school this year. The highest ever enrollment of children into senior high school in a single year in our history. With 5.10 million children having so far benefited from this SHS policy since it was instituted in September 2017. The considerable budgetary allocations within the period, totaling some 12.8 billion CDs, amply demonstrate the sheer determination by the Akufuado government to ensure that education becomes a catalyst around which the future transformation of our nation will revolve. I'm particularly proud of how in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic and other dire economic constraints, we've been able to sustain the free senior high school program and advance it even further with the addition of TVET and STEM without compromising the needs of the lower level of our education system. Again, I have on a previous occasion touted my administration's monumental strides in the digitalization agenda and singled out for praise the leadership role of my excellent and indefatigable vice president, <laughs> Dr. Mohamedou Baumia the man all of us, including even his enemies in the MDC, called Dr. Digitalization. Through the, his sterling efforts, transparency, efficiency, and accountability in the public sector have improved significantly. Under my direction, government took a decision to align the digitalization agenda to education improvement initiatives from pre-treasury all the way to the tertiary level, which is the reason for today's function. Government is determined to derive the optimum benefits in the twin areas of education and digitalization. I dare say that the investment and commensurate commitment towards education enhancement over the last seven years is unmatched by any government since the inception of our Fourth Republic some 31 years ago. These are seen in the areas of policy, infrastructure, equipment and retooling, furniture, scholarship, stationary provision, and enhancement of teacher welfare. One of the things that the COVID-19 pandemic succeeded in doing to us was to expose our vulnerability in so many areas of our lives, including the education sector. But it also created for us opportunities for innovation. It taught us to think, to find new ways to solve our problems. One of such, was an opportunity to leverage on the digitalization option it presented to us. Indeed, the pandemic, the pandemic gave us a rare opportunity to accelerate the adoption of digital technology and shielded productivity. You'll realize that as a forward-looking government, we seized the opportunity led by the vice president to close the gaps that were existing in our digitalization space, and most importantly, ensure that the gains from digitalization policies are broadly shared in an inclusive manner. Based on this, government instituted a number of measures to ensure that education delivery was not hampered in any way. Students and teachers wore no nose marks or face shields and online or technology-aided distance education became popularized. The Ministry of Education spearheaded the distribution of some 200,000 laptops to teachers in pre-tertiary institutions nationwide. 
to enable them to derive maximum use of the computers. Government trained beneficiary teachers on usage and utilization of applications embedded in the computers to facilitate the preparation of lesson notes and research, among other uses. This meant that the use of chalk and its associated health risks to both students and teachers were eliminated, thereby making our education delivery environmentally sustainable as enshrined in the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals 3, 4, 8, and 11, as well as the tenets of the UN Climate Change Conferences of COPs 21 and 27. In furtherance of our digitalization agenda in the education sector, government is proceeding with plans to distribute 1.3 million educational tablets to students in senior high schools. That is one student per tablet under the Ghana Smart Schools project. The tablets are fitted with digital contents to aid research, teaching, and learning. At the tertiary level, government plans to provide at a discounted price tablets and laptops to students and lecturers to facilitate academic work. <laughs> Though largely successful, government continues to seek innovative ways to boost further the free SHS policy. Government is convinced that the next phase of free SHS enhancement will be propelled by digitalization. This will allow a seamless online and offline teaching and learning experience. Indeed, the enhanced free SHS school will be environmentally friendly, boost academic performance, fitted with interactive displays, interactive learning, and increased productivity, which is what has given birth to the Ghana Smart Schools project. The project seeks to deepen the application of IT in teaching and learning at the second cycle level. It will ultimately enhance the performance of students and prepare them better for higher learning and the competitive careers in future. The other component of the Ghana Smart School project is the provision of modernized infrastructure. Government intends to build 100 smart schools across the country. The first 30 of these will be completed this year, and the remaining 70 expected to be completed in the next two years. And for the avoidance of doubt, it is planned that the 100 smart schools will be located in the following cities and towns in all eight, 16 regions. Eastern region, Kuforidia, Akropong, Chebi, and Abetifi. Greater Accra region, Atimota, Ajingano, Amasamai, and Medina. Volta region, Ho, Oti region, Dambai, Ahafu region, Mem. Blanc East region, Techiman, and Nkuranza. Northeast region, Nalerigo, Western North region, Enchi, Central region, Salpon and Kasua, Western region, Takrade, Takwa, and Wasa Ekropo, Bono region, Sunyane, Fiapre, Shanti region, Tepa, Jabeng, Mampo, and Kumase, Bantama, Upper East region, Bogatanga, and Binduri. Upper West Region, Wa, Northern Region, Karaga, Tamale, and Yendi, and Savannah Region, Damango. These smart school buildings will be fitted with solar panels as we seek to promote new and environmentally sustainable energy. In fact, these smart schools will be off the national electricity grid. They will also have 
We will also have digitalized infrastructure to advance teaching and learning. The physical infrastructure takes cognizance of our unique climatic conditions and will create a conducive atmosphere for learning. The schools will represent a new urban landmark for urban and rural land use and planning. There will be modern, iconic facilities depicting the collective resolve of a people for transformative and futuristic education. The Ghana School Smart Schools project is in alignment with government's promise to enhance the free Siena High School program, leveraging on technological advancements to enable students compete globally. It is in fulfillment of the Education for Sustainable Development Agenda, a key element in the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development Goals number four which prioritizes quality education, a key driver for the attainment of all 17 SDGs. It will provide the needed infrastructure to facilitate e-learning and digitalization to boost high school education in the country. Under a well thought out arrangement, each student will be provided with an electronic tablet on which our comprehensive teaching and learning management systems and digital learning contents to facilitate research, teaching, and learning. In conclusion, I am confident that together we can build a future where every Ghanaian child has access to a world-class education that unlocks his or her full potential let us embrace this opportunity to transform our schools into hubs of innovation and excellence. Let us work tirelessly to ensure that no child is left behind in the digital age. I want to thank the Ministry of Education, the Ghana Education Service, and the Center for Distance Learning and Open Schooling, which together have made this project a reality. The dedication of its members to the future of our nation is truly commendable. Let us continue to work together, knowing that the investments we make today will shape the destiny of generations to come. Accordingly, ladies and gentlemen, it is my singular honor and pleasure to declare the Ghana Smart Schools Project duly launched. May God bless our efforts to build a brighter future for our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention. Mr. President, your children invite you to join them to officially unveil this great project for them and for posterity. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause. Mr. President, if it pleases you, I'd like to invite you to stand in the middle as I invite the Minister for Education, the Vice President of our Republic, the Director General of the Ghana Education Service, and the Director General of the CTVET as the first party. A round of applause for them. And so it falls to your darling boy, Edmund, to officially present you with a knob to officially unveil. And so we do this in three, in two, and in one. Behold, the future of Ghana's education. It is the launch of the Ghana Smart Schools Project. Mr. President, behold, the unveil as it comes up. Wow.
this, 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 this. And now, Mr. President, for one tablet, one student, I invite you to officially outdoor the first tablet to be given to our school children. And so, ladies and gentlemen, it is the state-of-the-art tablet equipped with every modern device and software for teaching and learning. Mr. President, your children have a citation to present to you. The citation will be given to the Minister for Education who would submit it to you. But before that, to read the citation is my sister. Take it over. Citation honoring to His Excellency Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado, President of the Republic of Ghana, with profound gratitude for your visionary leadership and your commitment to transforming Ghana's educational landscape through the implementation of the Ghana Smart School Project. Mr. President, your dedication to equipping Ghanaian students with the skills and knowledge necessary to thrive in the fourth industrial revolution is truly commendable. The Ghana Smart School Project stands as a testament to your resolute determination to provide all students with access to comprehensive teaching and learning management system digital learning content, and electronic devices, thereby democratizing education and fostering an environment of equal opportunity. Through this groundbreaking initiative, you have paved the way for a paradigm shift in Ghana's educational landscape, breaking down barriers and empowering students across the nation to embrace the digital age with confidence and competence. Your vision and steadfast leadership have set the stage for a transformative journey one that will undoubtedly shape the future of countless young minds and propel Ghana towards unprecedented growth and prosperity. On this auspicious occasion of the launch of the Ghana Smart School Project, we extend our deepest gratitude and admiration for your priceless contribution to the nation development. You have laid the foundation for a brighter tomorrow where education is without barriers. Presented to you with the utmost respect and appreciation, Ministry of Education. Thank you. Preceding the presentation, the minister has a few remarks. Mr. President, the student has said it all, and we are grateful. But Mr. Vice President, Today has finally come. A week did not pass when he called me and said, what are we doing? What are we doing? Mr. Vice President is here today. Mr. President, we are grateful. We are grateful. And so finally, Mr. President, Mr. Vice President, Honorable Minister, if it pleases you, I would like to invite all ministers and ministers designates to please join for a group photo. A spot of music from the Ghana Police Band. Let there be celebration. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated.
the President of Indonesia. The Vice President of our Republic has obliged to stay on. Girls High School, make welcome Educhimwa Foku. The President of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency Nana Dodankwa Ekufuadu. The Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency Dr. Mahamudu. Please, a round of applause. Edu Chumwa, you've got this. Take it again. The President of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency Nana Dudankwa Ekufuadu, the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency Dr. Mahamudu Baumia, the, the Minister of Education, Dr. Yao Osei Educhum, the Minister for Communication and Digitalization, Members of Parliament present, members of Council of State present, members of diplomatic community present, all protocols duly observed. I deem it an honor and privilege to be given this opportunity to give this vote of thanks as such at a guest gathering. All too soon, we've come to the conclusion of a very successful program. We thank the omnipotent God for a peaceful event. On the behalf of the organizers, I wish to extend their words of appreciation to all those who played diverse roles in bringing this project into fruition, to the Ministry of Education, to the Ghana Education Service, to the TVET Commission, to the Sendros, to the Free SHS Secretariat for a good job done. One person who must be very excited today is the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency, Dr. Baumia. We, Digital Baumia, people refer to you as Dr. Digitalization. We thank you for your support towards the development and ushering Ghana towards its digital area. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me to single out for special mention the father of the land, the President of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency, Nana Dodankwa Ekufuado, Your Excellency, your vision is bearing fruit and it has come to pass. The country is experiencing rapid digitalization growth due to your effort. We thank you very much. Sir, we like to say thank you for giving us free senior high school education. Daddy, we would like to say thank you for giving us more classrooms furniture, uniform, and textbook. Granddaddy, we say thank you for providing our teachers with computer laptops and converting our schools to smart schools. Daddy, father of the land, we say thank you for providing us with tablets, which has enhanced our educational purposes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to state a famous saying from a Pakistan female educational activist by the name Malala Yousafzai, who said that one book, one pen, one child, and one teacher can change the world. Now on this grand occasion, I'd like to replace the word 
one book and pen with tablet. Let us say that one tablet, one child, one teacher has changed our beloved country, Ghana, and will continue to develop it to suit the 21st century workforce. Merci beaucoup. Yadawase. Apenao. Oyuala don. Naagdobe. Thank you all very much. From Greater Accra Region, let's hear from Laboni Senior High School. All right, stand by. And ladies and gentlemen from Central Region, Ghana National College. And that is to you, Mr. President. And from the Volta Region, let's go to Maui School. And from Ashanti, St. Louis. And together from all the 16 regions, let's hear from you. And there they are. Please, a round of applause for them. And so a few announcements. At the end of this program, when the national anthem goes, we shall all remain in our seats. The President of the Republic, together with the Vice President and the official party, will take leave of us first. They will join students at the backdrop outside for a family photo at a forum. Are we ready? Mr. President, in the matter of you versus your skeptics in the courts of public interest, the verdict is out. Mr. President, you've been found innocent of all charges preferred against you. You have acted in the goodwill of Ghanaians and in the general interest of Ghanaians by prosecuting this agenda in very difficult times at great cost yet you've kept your promise as the promise keeper. You are hereby acquitted and discharged. Mr. Legacy, Mr. President, may your legacy live long after you. We shall all rise, but before that, receive the blessing of God from the spokesperson of the National Chief Imam, Sheikh Arimiyao Shaibu. Sheikh Amir Yaw Shaibo is represented by Mr. Abdul Majid Adam from the Student Loan Trust Fund. Let's make him welcome with a round of applause. Ala Ibrahim, wa ala Ali Ibrahim, fir ala mina in naka Hamidul Majid. Allahumma barak Allah Muhammad, wa ala Ali Muhammad, kama barak ta ala Ibrahim, wa ala Ali Ibrahim, fir ala mina in naka Hamidul Majid. Amen. May God bless you, Mr. President. May God bless you, Mr. Vice President. May God bless us all in our homeland, Ghana, and make her great and strong. Let's bring, let's bring the music down. Yo. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated.
It's for persons with disability. I mean, this project, we are able to pay 50,000 jobs. And every train in the UK person will have a solar power in the work station. Yes, please. Okay. Ghana's education with the introduction of the SM1 tablet, the future, is a bright future. Remember that Ghana is doing something that no other African country that I'm aware of. So I expect that the future of education is going to be bright. You're going to have better quality education, more accessible education, more inclusive education and the performance of the students we expect to be even better and better as we go forward. The Ghana Smart Schools project is part of a deliberate effort to address the digitalization agenda of my government to transform Ghana's economy. The project seeks to equip Ghanaian students with 21st century learning opportunities to be able to compete globally. Under this project, all public senior high school and TVET students will be supplied with tablets fully loaded with a customized learning management system. The system is available both online and offline with approved content. Technology will never replace teachers, but technology in the hands of great teachers is transformational. And so if you're joining us, and all this has been made possible because of the team that have worked tirelessly to make this a reality. Allow me to acknowledge all the directors. Would you please rise and let's celebrate you. <laughs> Senior High School. <laughs> Wale Wale, the Vice President cannot see you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Wale Wale. Let's go to the Northern region and we go to Bisco, Business High School. 
to the OT region and we make welcome KJB Asato High School. Let's receive from the Upper East Region, Navrongo Senior High School. From the Western Region, Sakrade Senior High School. And finally, from the Western North Region, Queens Girls Senior High School. Together, let's hear it up for them. A resounding round of applause. Once to Minister Designate for Local Government and all other ministers, Deputy Minister of Education, Honorable Ntim Fodjo, and the Deputy Minister Designate for Education, uh, Professor uh, Kinsley, heads of other agencies under the Ministry of Education, the Chief Director. Nana Nana uh, Osu Manche, Nana Manfehne, our development partners, head of local government and civil service, teacher unions are present, our students and our friends from the media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited to be here today. Uh, it's rare to have the president and the vice president at your ministry's event. <laughs> and today, history has been made. I see my boss, the president. I see my boss, the vice president. And that makes you humble when you are speaking. So, Mr. President, with your permission, I'll continue with my address. You know, most of you know that I like the S Temple, but when, not when you're president and vice president. <laughs> because you can't miss anything that you have prepared. So I'll stick to the script. But permit me to say, Ghana is in the fourth industrial revolution. And we want to leave. You know, in the first industrial revolution of the steam engine, Africa was not part of it. The second industrial revolution came, electricity. Where are the fringes? The third industrial revolution of the computer, we use them but they're not building. Now we are in the fourth industrial revolution. Time of the artificial intelligence, robotics. Time when we can combine biological and the physical, the electrical. Bring about innovation that the world has never seen. The time of YouTube where you can go in and see what the people have done and do yours. This is the moment of Africa. And this is Ghana's moment. And I'm super excited that we get to embark on this after proving ourselves to secondary education from a little over 800,000. And now in one year, we have 504,000 students enrolled in our senior high schools first year. From a little over 800,000, today we have 1.4 million students enrolled in our secondary schools. And you know, for any government that could have an achievement in itself, I've increased enrollment from 800,000 to 1.4 million, just clap for me. But that is not, I didn't say clap for me. I, have, I said, for any government, they will have told you to clap for them. But another Dan Kwaku Fuadu, the visionary president, was not satisfied. He taxed us with the responsibility to improve the quality of education. So I always say our party is the party of manifesto plus. We do things that we did not promise in our manifesto. <laughs> not a week passes by without the ministry receiving a delegation of chiefs asking for a STEM school. The STEM agenda it's moving, and it's moving fast. But I also know digitalization and what the vice president has championed with the permission of the president. When you look at digitalizing the address system, mobile money on interoperability, and I cannot even count because every day you turn around and he's launching something. I call him the techno politician.
the technocrat politician who is digitalizing everything under the visionary president of our time. Things are getting exciting. Many of us are familiar with a quote from the celebrated American civil rights leader Malcolm X, who said, education, and I quote, education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it, unquote. I'm also tempted to quote another American, Benjamin Franklin, who said, and I quote, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest, unquote. After improving access to secondary education, we are now enhancing the quality so that we create a pipeline of the next generation of Ghanaians from our kindergarten through primary schools. In 2017, this government prioritized education and proceeded to demonstrate this commitment. When it was said free senior high school was impossible, the government went ahead to prove otherwise, and today, some 5.7 million children who are our own children, brothers and sisters, have benefited from the program. We have produced some impressive outcomes and results from the West Africa Senior High School Certificate Examination. And recently I heard somebody saying that uh, Ghana is no longer part of WASI, but we still top WASI. <laughs> Last year, Last year, two out of three high-performing WASI students in West Africa were from Ghana. And the two, and the two came from a very unique school in Bono, St. James High School and Seminary. This year, the three topmost students in West Africa all came from Ghana. And once again, two of them came from St. James. <laughs> and one from our own Laboni Senior High School. This is the legacy of Nana Adodankwa Ekufuadu-led government. But that is not all. Across the country, we have enhanced the state of infrastructure on various campuses and provided more textbooks and other teaching and learning materials to ensure the education sector continue to receive, to receive its part of the government's investment. Mr. Chairman, Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, time is taking so far for Ghana and the rest of the world to achieve the target set in the Sustainable Development Goals and for us in the education arena, we have only the next six years to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and produce lifelong learning opportunities for all. And I'm happy to report that we are on course in achieving this target, achieving inclusive and quality education for all. Reaffirms the belief that education is one of the most powerful and proven vehicles for socioeconomic transformation. We will witness within the next few weeks and months the conversion on some of, um, uh, some of our existing buildings in our high schools into a smart learning environment. Construction is about to begin in earnest the development of new smart schools across the country. There will be an establishment of aftercare centers in campuses to attend to uh, computers that may need repair. We are setting up a 24-hour call center to resolve all consumer issues, including complaints from our students who are going to use these devices. The future of our education system is what we are witnessing today, a life participation from our schools across the country. The first of its kind at this Ministry of Education. The future is here. We are actually embark on our agenda for the transformation of Ghana. The future of Ghana couldn't be brighter.
than what we are seeing. We are on a trajectory to a great future. And I can assure you, under and under than Kukufuado, a foundation has been laid. We are building on it. The future is here today. Ghana will be a great participant in the fourth industrial revolution. Innovation <laughs> changes the fortunes of countries. No country has transformed itself without improving its education system. We have begun something that 10 years, 20 years from now, the world will talk about. The world will come and see Ghana, see the innovation that brought about the transformation. Historians, Mr. President, will be kind to you. You have done the impossible in the COVID era. I did an interview with a reporter. Talk about all the things that we have done. The new junior high schools we are building. The community schools we are building. The, all the innovations that we've done, including ensuring that teacher education is four years instead of three, which means it's costing the country more. And the reporter looked at me and said, so you are doing all this in the midst of economic challenges, and I said, that is what a visionary president does. <laughs> he had to find an antidote to the economic challenges by laying a strong and robust foundation for the economy, that this economy will stand the test of time. This is the foundation that we build upon in the years to come. Mr. President, Your Excellency, Mr. Vice President, I'm so grateful for this opportunity of being Ghana's Minister for Education at this time in our history. I'm grateful. Thank you all, and God bless you all. The Honorable Yao Edutum MP. Thank you, sir, for that heart stirring speech. In moving on, Mr. President, Mr. Vice President, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we want to understand what we mean by the future of Ghana's education. For the next few minutes, please lend your unbiased attention to the screen. O pesa wo kran ye me free brochure e de bagana na e ne fe ho asem be dom ANS wo 20 ana 40 footer container no ana e ye left hand drive cars e na wo pesa wo to no amano ne e fa ho be bia free bia UK Europe USA China ana Asia se wo de bagana be bia ye de be brew e bi na mpo so ani wi mu hye mu nti no e ba ne ntem dia wo ni ha okra ye door to door delivery ni so de na wo twi bia ye kran ye me free UK ani Europe between 3 to 4 weeks na lande yam bo nan so de bo ko sa wo e ba custom un shisha yen so a yetimi ma wa kwantre na e bia na wo de wo paso ka kre bi na wo penententem de aya de 3 to 4 days ni ye de bro shisha a and s for chira kwan ne wo europe a wetimi fre ye germany line no e wo +491 737 712-733. Ghana, 0249-170-423. Na UK, so, plus 44-790-8027-527. ANS Trading Agency Limited. Yet demo fwa. Media, let us say. Me more kwa baba abiexpress.com. Abiexpress.com, dear media. Yeah, 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 dear fwa. And you don't phone me up in the pop one only at the other be express dot com. And yeah, I won't be every Ghana and Africa. And Pop one as I did. Can tell me that I won't pen out your dad down who a party as Siana. If you are a bra, I'll be express dot com. And they are pop one young man who are the flow of what be express dot com. And they are dear moon. I mean, yeah, and yeah, now what you say? Who are Europe abroad today? And now America, Australia, no one, no one, and that's the Asia now. That be a way, yeah, it's no cry. And one is on babyexpress.com. That you want to know what Sabaka, abyexpress.com. Where they end your move, abyexpress.com. Where they are pop, 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 abyexpress.com. Yeah, they're Ghana, and swallow a rich river. 